Hey yo people and welcome back to Doom 3. Now we just have to remember what we were doing. I think we were going up here. And we're probably gonna get jumped on immediately. And because we just recorded a whole bunch of Dark Messiah, I just hit one. Or just about hit one. Oh, oh start me. Man, I'm ever glad to see you. I thought I was all alone. It's been freaking spooky lately. The hydra gun's blown a few circuits and is unstable. Be careful with that gun. A stray bullet into the glass shields could blow the whole area. I'm oh, gonna try lovely. and get this thing stabilized. I'll head to the science office when I have this under control. That's not safe for work. Osho would have a few words about that. Oh, it's dark back here. It's dark everywhere, dude. Is that a zombie that I just heard? No, probably. Well, tight corridor. Oh! Oh, that was the dude. And then over here... Isn't this where I came from? Originally? Because I came in here, and then I went over here, and this is where the headless dude was. So yeah, I just went in a big circle, but I got the thing that I needed. Yay! Well, uh, con congrats? Burning lipsits. Burning lipsits. Time off. Headed to Mars City tonight after shift for some beers. Hydrocon O2 leak. Oh. Siphon hose in the oxygen replacement valve is forming a leak due to lower temperatures required to boost production in the Hydrocon labs. If this hose were to rupture, it would cause severe instability in the Hydrocon systems and could result in a very dangerous situation. So in other words, shit's gonna explode. Yeah, that was predictable. Oh god! What was not predictable was the soldier behind him. Oh, there's somebody in here. Somebody dangerous. Hi. Ooh, just had enough ammo. That wasn't a very smart place for him to stand, was it? Where are we now? Anything in there? No. I don't think I need that. Well, that's all fucked. So what's over here? This requires... Well, I ain't going through that way. Yeah. Safer worlds for everyone. For centuries, people on Earth have waged for existence. You will Well. Yeah. <laughs> what? Can you not? I'm loving the trails of blood. And by that I mean I'm absolutely despising it. Really? That would be nice because then you know exactly where you meant to go. Help! 
too many of them. Yes, but why they... I love how the armor sound is the same thing as a door opening sound. I think I said that before. You may have. I don't remember clearly enough. Good way to make someone piss themselves. Or it could just be that I've been uh, damaged, so every time I pick up armor, I just expect to hear a door open. Mm. My brain's like, oh, fuck! Could be. Eh, doom for ya. Load. 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 Log ass load screens. It's funny because Dark Messiah is so fast. It's like, blink, done. Any day now? There we go. Oh, don't you dare. Pleasant. There's a dude up there. Also, I want a soda. Give me a soda. <laughs> Give me a soda. Oh my god. Stop it. They need the ability to be able to interrupt your uh, reload. Here at the UAC, we make Cause like, any soldier would fucking drop an empty gun and pull out the sidearm or something if that was happening right there. Not just continue to reload while they're staring you in the face. There was somebody on the other side of that door. Just a moment ago. Oh good, spooky bathroom time? Hi! Why were you hiding in the corner of the bathroom? Because I a spooper. Hi, fatty. Why can't I move backwards? Was I getting stuck on that ceiling tile? Okay. Mirror spook too? Nope, apparently not. So where's the other zombie? There he is. Okay. Tried to circle around behind me. I saw it coming. You dick. Why is. Wow. Okay. Interesting layout. Hello, hello. Is this reaching anyone? I'm broadcasting on a very low frequency. If you can hear me, I'm not far. Please help me. I've locked myself in storage room C4. Please, if anyone can hear me, please help me. Storage room C4. I want to the fucking you little shit. <laughs> uh, I still want to know what those are called. That's what I was waiting for. Like, there's no way there's not a monster around that goddamn corner. Oh look, I'm right. Fucking pulled out my flashlight to see, and that's when he jumped on me. Wait, is that one zombie feeding on another? Kinky. Is that what passes for, uh, sex these days? Oh my god!
Well, these things are all over the damn place. I think that was another one of the, uh, the two-headed ones. Okay. Wasn't I just watching a zombie eating another zombie over here? Yep. Oh, here we go. What? I was right. It wasn't just a dead guy. There's another fucking zombie. Alright. Andrew Chin. Martian Buddy. Online Gamer. The quest for the Chalice of Sanguine Drac begins now. The evil Vloxemire has cast a dark cloud of evil across the lands of Nazgath. Who will rise above and challenge his legion of wind wild wolves and berserko trolls? Wow, okay. Eight-sided die. Writing in regard to the eight-sided die you borrowed from me, not going to invite me to the game, then I would like my eight-sided die back. Just got in that ride, sucked. Okay, I don't think... Storage cabinet 38. Doorless no longer stuck. We pulled the dent from the side. This for record's new cabinet is 409. Okay. Audio report regarding the disrespectful treatment of new research staff. September 14, 2145. As you know, I have gone to considerable effort to recruit my staff researchers for Alpha Labs. Finding team members with the qualifications, let alone the willingness to come to Mars, has not been a trivial task. You know this already. But it is necessary that I emphasize why their complaints must be taken seriously. We won't be able to keep our people or recruit new researchers if the harassment continues. No, harassment is exactly the right word. I'm routinely getting reports of UAC security asking inappropriate questions and submitting my staff to unnecessary background checks. I must insist that we be allowed to keep our personal lives private and be left to complete our assignments without further delays. If there is some kind of security, I suggest that UAC security look more deeply into their own staff. This is Andrew Chin, and... Okay. Oh, look, armor. Uh, I was totally expecting... The reason I paused while the dialogue was going on is because I was totally expecting that last camera option would cause something to jump out at me. Yeah. It just seemed like a setup to me. Yep. Yeah, What the plausible. fuck was that? are far less unsettling ah. compared to the two-headed ones. Ah, so there's no oxygen out there. Oh. It didn't seem like he started shooting you immediately. Since the dawn of he the didn't. space age, Union Aerospace has been at the forefront of not only developing new technology, but I don't want him following me. If there's a way up there. Okay, so I can't jump through into there like I have been with the other ones. I keep forgetting I have the chain gun. I don't have much ammo for it, so... Yeah, better to save it for uh, big targets. Uh, those are my soldiers. Now, fuel that would once take up half the payload of an interplanetary ship only occupies a fraction of that space. You are looking at the molecular fuel storage compactor. I'm not liking that banging sound. I knew something was up. Something's always up. Okay. 
Bravo team reports they've located your position but are unable to move to your current location. Head through engineering and try to link up with them in Sector 3. Well, that's what we were doing. Open main vent hatch? What did that do? Check manually, ladder deployed. Oh, okay, lovely. Alright, so. Collection. Remember to get my excited die back from Jin. Remember my code for cabinet 39102. Wait a minute. Oh, 38 is 409. And 39 is 102. Okay. I haven't seen any cabinets yet, though. We would like to thank you for your latest modification proposal to the dilation matrix. The boys here at CPU have crunched your numbers, and after some deliberation, we've agreed that this is the most fantastically bogus theory we've ever seen. If you're not remotely interested in getting your gnome-loving dragon slaying power-leveling ass fired, I suggest you lay off the role-playing and learn some basic math. Good luck on your next review. Jesus. <laughs> oh. Audio log for Walter Connors. The MFS compressor is producing fantastic results. The latest modification I made to the dilation matrix were the real key to the recent breakthrough. All in all, I feel my work on this project has been the catalyst that propelled everything forward. I've also taken a set amount of time each day to make sure that everyone is doing their job and all of their effort to ensure that no mistakes are made. This is going to be a huge money maker. And quite honestly, my input and my work to sure that we've gotten this project. Did you just die already? Supervisory role in the project. Working with you is a true honor. Just remember me in the end of the year report, says I'm certain I deserve a promotion. You heard that. Oh, motherfucker, wait! Like, which direction am I looking right now? <laughs> you motherfuckers are jumping out of the walls. Ammo belt. Ooh. Nice. Does that mean you can carry more ammo? I think it just gave me ammo in general. Uh. Like, lots of, you know, ammo for everything that I have. Oh, and then, I almost forgot, we have a video disc. Since the dawn of the space age, Union Aerospace has been at the forefront of not only developing new technology, but pushing those developments to even more daring extremes. With an abundant production of hydrogen fuel, thanks to the Hydrocon, the specialist teams asked the big question. Can we devise a way to store and deliver that fuel to make the dream of deep space research a reality? The answer has been a resounding yes. Under the direction of Dr. Malcolm Batruga, key UAC scientists have made startling new discoveries in the fields of quantum physics. And with them, they have been able to use the actual space between electrons and protons in a molecule as a storage medium for fuel in our interplanetary antimatter drives. Now, fuel that would once take up half the payload of an interplanetary ship only occupies a fraction of that space. You are looking at the molecular fuel storage compactor. The MFS compressor is yet another UAC marvel that brings the dream of reaching and colonizing the most distant planets closer to a reality. The UAC has long made safer worlds for everyone, and now they will bring those worlds even closer than you could ever imagine. Welp. So this is doing a thing. Oh, did I just see a health pack? Oh, sweet, sweet health pack. I'm actually starting to need that now. Yeah, occasionally. Can I not pick that up? Okay, so I have max ammo for that. Oh yes, let's lower myself into the fucking... 
Motherfuckers! I'm liking this, uh... <laughs> this panel. Oh, there we go. Self-cleaning panels. Anyway, you've heard it all before. You know what to do, and we'll catch you next time. <laughs>